Hello and welcome to everyone to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will show you how to learn to use the NVIDIA DLSS plugin to speed up your rendering process in the movie Render Cube. If you have not yet installed the plugin on your Unreal Engine software, please watch our video tutorial we already uploaded on how to do this step by step. You can find the link in the description below or you can also click on this black box you see on the top right corner of the video. Once you have installed the software, please open the project where you will enable this and go here to the edit section in the main menu of Unreal Engine to search for the plugins. So you can see the plugin browser tab, here you can see plugin windows and type in the search box for DLSS. Make sure the NVIDIA DLSS for resolution and the movie render queue DLSS support are both enabled. You must tick the box here. Once you do, you will probably need to restart your Unreal Editor for this change to take effect. So check the box, restart the editor, restart the program. And once you are here again, go to your level sequence which you must have already prepared the animation here I'll oh it's not this one this one here I've loaded it and then search this button to open the movie or render queue once the movie render queue window is open please go here to this unsaved config and click here on this setting button so you can search for the DLSS DLA option once you click on it, it will be loaded into your settings section, you can see it here, make sure it's yellow, it's enabled, and in here you will be able to change the DLSS quality, keep in mind that DLAA will be the option that will give you the higher quality, the higher visual quality, and ultra performance will be the one with the lower visual quality, but as you might expect, it will render much more faster than the other options. Here you need to keep in mind that the ultra quality option is not supported. It says here that you need to try lower, try with a lower quality setting because it may produce undesired results. I've already took the risk and tested and it worked fine for me. However, I suggest you as Unreal Engine says to try with a lower quality setting such as quality or using the LAA. The results will be much similar and probably this option does not work well with some effects for some projects so we suggest you to use one of the other options and that would be all you need to do to enable DLSS on your movie render queue once you render it will be using this anti-aliasing method so in case you want to see a comparison between the DLAA the quality and the performance preset we did some test using this scene we have loaded here and we have uploaded the results to the next video you will see here please click on it so you can see the results and see for yourself is DLSS or DLAA is enough to render your project thanks for watching and see you next time